Hello, my name is Martin, and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Filament Friday 3D Print Toolkit from Jack Hellebock or Filament Friday channel. So let's have a look after the intro. So first, uh, I bought this kit with my own funds. I wasn't sent it for review. It's just uh, a product I bought on on. Amazon and I'm happy to um, do an unboxing video and, and promote it. I think Chuck is doing a really good thing in the 3D printing community and, and he has put together a 3D print toolkit for for newcomers and, and advanced users as well. So it has a lot of things inside. But let's open up the box and, and see what's inside. So it comes in, in this box. So and on the back it states what tools it has. I'm gonna op open it up. So first we get a, a pack and this one has a filmatfriday.com sticker on it and you can put the tools in this pack and it's a, it's a nice nice pack for the tools. But let's dive in. And here are some brushes. Uh, uh, brush, brush and uh, steel brush so we get those two types of, of brushes um, and those cutters and those are great to cut filament and also just when you're removing supports it's good to have a cutter like this and it's a, it's a, a very useful tool and here's a, the pliers and those are good for when you're doing some maintenance on the printer if you have to hold some nuts also removing supports it's good to have a good tool like this um, i think this is a really nice one because it has a spring in it so it opens up automatically it's a nice nice feature and here's one more brush this is a nylon brush so you get those three types of, of brushes that's nice um, this is a very handy tool it's a deep boring tool um, um, here we get see, at least three uh, tools so you can use this to to cut on edges like if you have a like an elephant foot on a print you just slide this over to to get rid of that and also just adjusting corners and, and it's a really helpful tool it's one of the most useful tools <laughs> i have a, a deburring tool so and you get some spare uh, tools with it and that's that's uh, good and i think you can put the spare ones in here to to store them so that's Good, good place to store them and then you get this file and that's really nice to have to uh, file down burrs and, and parts of your 3d prints uh, you have to adjust parts especially when you're prototyping it's a good thing to have a tool like this to adjust parts when you print them out and they don't fit exactly the right way then you can use this to file down edges and, and the parts and here's a small glue stick and this is just a normal glue stick that you can use on your print bed when you're printing several materials depending on your print service how much you use it but i use glue stick to print nylon for example because it doesn't stick very well to my pi sheet so i use glue stick for printing nylons and here are calibers and those are pretty much a necessary tool to have when you're when you're uh, doing some designs and you want to measure out real world objects you really don't want to be without a caliper and this one has a both millimeters and inches and you, you reset it at the zero and then you can measure out things and it's it's uh, really one of the tools that you need to have when you're doing prototyping of something that has to fit into the re real world then you use cal calipers um, Here's the tool, a spatula, uh, as you've maybe seen on Chuck's channel, to, to get a print. This one is really nice because the, the it's very thin, so the end here is very thin, so you can get underneath prints 
when you're trying to get it off the print bed. And I think this is a like a painter's uh, painter's uh, tool to 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 use with oil paintings. But this is a really nice tool to get underneath. Um, it's uh, it's very thin, as you can see when I rotated it. It's just a, like a paper thin, or even thinner than a paper. <laughs> so it's a good tool to have. Yeah, some more more tools for the the, the deburring, and they were in a bag, but that one has opened up. <laughs> I'm just going to put this in. It's a good place to store the extra ones in, in here. Um, here's a set of, of plates and a knife. That's how this opens up. Um, this is this is cool. This is a, a just a you can see from all the blade types. Normally, you would be using so you put this in here. And you tighten it up, and then you get this this excellent knife. And here in the tool set, there are a lot of different types, one, two, three, four, five types of, of blades. So depending on your project, you can switch out the blades and have a spare ones of each, each type as well. So this is a really nice one. Uh, the, the end can rotate. So when you're having it in your hand and you're maybe cutting, cutting some edges or working with foam or something like that, you can easily rotate the knife in your in your hand because of this uh, this end so this is a really nice feature to have and then you just unscrew this and, and put this out and it's a good idea to to always store the blades in here so you don't cut yourself <laughs> or when you if you put it on a in a drawer and are searching for it and like i have this one here and this cap is put in here but it's always falling out so this can be quite dangerous in the <laughs> in the environment, especially when I have a cat and he's throwing this away, so it's a good good option to have this case where you can just park the, the blades and, and store it like this. So that's a really nice feature. Um, then here's a small cutting mat marked with Filament Friday and has all the measurements and, and, and I think this is just something you have on your table when you're cutting some materials or, or or working on projects so they don't cut into the table. So this is a nice one. Um, here are some Filament Friday sticker and a, a registration card and some instruction manual with the wire brushes and, and all the tools. So, so you can read up a little bit on each part of the kit and some warnings and injury information so you don't <laughs> damage your fingers <laughs> with, the, with the tools but this is uh, yeah a, a discount code for for amazon so those were the items in the filament friday uh, 3d print toolkit it's an amazing start kit if you if you're new to 3d printing and you don't know what are the basic tools that you will need and, and don't know where to get them it's a really good option to get this box with basically everything that you need to get started of course you'll need some tools if you're buying a 3d printer kit to assemble the kit but with this set of tools is most useful for real 3d printing applications when you when you have your printer ready and, and you want to work on your prints and, and design the calibers and and, and fix up your prints with the knives and, and tools. So I will link to this item on Amazon. It's not a affiliate link. I don't have the Amazon affiliate program. So you can check this out on the Amazon website. But this will be it for this video. This was just an unboxing video. It's not a full review of such of the use case of its tool. I just wanted to show you what was inside this box and how I felt about that. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.